I live in Arizona now. Spent 23 years in the California Charter, 10 years club's president. Hey, hey, why the fuck are you here? Marco. Supply me with a couple quick shipments of heroin. With the club. Fuck the club and don't fuck with me. That's my brother. You got your guy, Trails. Maybe you can learn a few things. Huh? The fuck down, nine eh? You got this hooligan thing under control. What are you up to, man? We got everything under control. It always starts with a bully. DEA, motherfucker! Put your hands on the wheel! Would you like one of these? Many times they turn into rats and liars. I used to act decisively and sometimes violently when I spotted one of these guys. Today, it's a little more complicated. You don't know shit about me. You know what I really liked about it, though? It had that true, realistic feel to the entire movie. So obviously, if somebody's watching this, this is going to be authentic. Right? It's my name is Mark Murin. I'm the manager of the Super Saver Cinemas here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we uh, played this weekend, uh, Dead in Five Heartbeats, this week, past two weekends, and uh, it's been a great experience for the theater. We uh, uh, started, uh, we met Jeff and uh, Christy Santo uh, in January. They came by the theater to, uh, to ask if they could uh, show, have the showings here, and uh, we jumped on board, and uh, it's been a great experience. We had uh, uh, quite a few people here last weekend, and everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. I know the staff enjoyed the, uh, the experience of uh, everybody coming, and, and they all had a good time, so uh, we really do appreciate it. Do you, uh, do you often get an opportunity where uh, cast members travel to your theater when they're premiering the movie? Uh, doesn't, no. Not, not, unfortunately, not here. It's, uh, we're a discount theater, so uh, by the time we get the uh, regular first first run Hollywood pictures, it's, they're pretty much played out and, uh, and so uh, this is great that we got the cast uh, that, that came here for this uh, film and it's, it's been, it's, like I said, it's been a lot of fun. It's a good experience for us and uh, we hope uh, all, our, all the patrons, all the customers that came in had a good time too. So. I thought well, the parts that I saw it was it was all very exciting. It was all very well done. Uh, it's it, every again the, all the the work that Jeff did and that Sonny did and that everybody that put it together. You could see it all on the film. It's all in the movie. Uh, it, uh, the actors are are just you know everything's good. Everything's real authentic and uh, it seems to be authentic. And uh, again, it just seems like a, a really well done movie. So. So if you had a message for anybody where the, uh, that owns or manages a theater where this is coming to, what would that message be? I'd say uh, don't hesitate uh, to uh, to book the film. It's uh, it, the crowds have been have been wonderful. Uh, again, our staff has said that they wish uh, these guys were here all the time. Is the, the politeness and and uh, it's it's just been a it's the everything is is just been really really well. We've we've not had a single problem with anybody, and it's just been a, a good time. And we've really enjoyed uh, having everybody here. So, uh, my name is Mark Murin. I'm the manager at uh, Super Saver Theater, and I. I encourage everybody to uh, check, it, check it out at deadin5heartbeats.com. My name is Matrix. I'm the president of the Roller Knights here in Phoenix, Arizona. I play the role of Raleigh, uh, the ultimate chess player. Um, other than that, doing this movie was fantastic. It was a great honor to be asked by Sonny to be a part of this movie. Um, when I first saw it, it caught me off guard because I was looking for the serious movie all the way through and it had a touch of comedy a little bit of drama, and a little bit more comedy. So it was really fantastic and I really enjoyed doing it. I'm Squeaky. I am a Roland Knight supporter and I, am, uh, I live in North Phoenix. 
Now, a lot of people are going to have to travel pretty great distances to see this. Mm -hmm. Why is it going to be worth it to travel that distance to see this movie? I think it's worth it because you can't see it everywhere. I mean, it's not you know it's not going to be everywhere, so it's it's kind of cool that it's very limited because um, you can't see it everywhere. So I mean, it's it's very authentic and it's um, it's very different. And independent films are kind of cool like that. Do you like the fact that uh, they actually have the cast members traveling with the movie? Movies, signing shirts and and uh, posters and things like that. It's very awesome. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and that's the cool part about going to see the movie in all the different cities is meeting the cast members and the people that are really in the film. Okay, so who do you think was the hottest one in the movie? Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and, and we got the squeak, so we don't have to ask you why they call you squeaky now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Jeff Black. I play Patch Kincaid in a movie, Dead in Five Heartbeats. This isn't a big budget movie. This isn't uh, uh, Hollywood throwing $30 million at advertising or, or uh, independent uh, uh, distribution uh, where they can go international and, and posters will be up on every billboard and every bus. Uh, this is done on less than a micro budget. Uh, in fact, less than they filmed uh, Hells Angels 1969, back in 69. So, but it was a collaboration of uh, great souls that came together on, a, on so many levels, from wardrobe to makeup to uh, everyone in the movie uh, is portraying themselves. They, they are real bikers, they are real clubs, portraying their own club name that's there. Uh, it's almost a... Uh, a, a documentary, a feature film, and a uh, reality show mixed into one. I'm going to be traveling through 16 cities across the United States and growing. Uh, if the demand gets higher, with the support you guys bring us, uh, we're going to be there too. We're going to be shaking hands, we're going to be assigning posters, and we're, we're going to be part of it. And, and we want you to be part of it too and be part of this family. So uh, please get out there. Uh, Come see Dead in Five Heartbeats, and you can get more information. You can stay in touch on Facebook. Dead in Five Heartbeats.com is the website, or SonnyBarger.com, or JeffSantoFilms.com. Uh, love. I can't wait to see uh, see everybody out there when the time comes. Thank you very much. I'm Dawn, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Lindsay, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Wow. What would bring you all the way to Arizona? Bike week, baby. There we go. <laughs> Sunny's anniversary as well. I had to see the movie. Oh, yeah. fantastic. You know, a lot of times um, uh, movies are faced with trying to um, get that realism. Do you feel that uh, they captured that in this movie here? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you think of a certain point, again, without giving away too much, that really just sucked you into the movie and you just, there's no way you were going to be able to leave that theater? The entire movie sucked us into the movie and didn't want us to leave the theater. Um, to watch the, the brotherhood of it all. Yeah. To see it, to watch it, and to know that that's the way that true reality actually is off the screen. You know, a lot of times you see documentaries on TV and you see all these different things about motorcycle clubs and, and what they're about. How do you feel that this was any different than what you normally see on TV? It's not like that, so it was nice to see that on the big screen the way it really is instead of all this like fake Hollywood stuff. The true reality, yeah. the true respect shown from one brother to another and for all that are involved in not just the Infidels Club but the other clubs that were involved in the filming of this movie was fantastic. A lot of times with Hollywood when they throw these big budgets and they try to create these movies, special effects and things like that, you know, that's really nice and neat and then you go to an independent that doesn't really have that type of a budget. Do you think that because this was an independent film that they lost any of that quality in this movie? Not at all. No, not at all. What would you say to people that, uh, that don't ride and would have to go to a great distance to see this movie? Should they and why? It's well worth the miles to drive to absolutely. see it. Absolutely. It's absolutely worth the trip to see it wherever it is that you are. We've traveled over a thousand miles and this was the top priority for us to come to see this movie. Whether we made it to any invented bike week or anything else. The poker run and uh, seeing this yeah, was the whole, the whole goal and the event. And 
did you like the fact that you were able to come out and and this is more like a a, 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 a band traveling the country where you're able to see some of the cast members and get t-shirts signed and things like that. Absolutely. That was awesome. It made um, watching the movie and traveling to the movie feel really inclusive. Like, not only are you just watching a movie, but it's like a big family traveling around, like, showing their movie and it's a lot like how clubs are, how it's just a big family and everybody's hanging out and spending time and it was great that um, all the cast members came along with the movie and that you could meet them. Welcomed with open arms is what yeah. I would say. Welcomed with open arms. Fantastic. What about uh, any, any good special scenes in there for the women? Little Romeo. Well, they're going to have to watch it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They're we don't want to reveal all the secrets. There's a lot of good looking boys and a lot of good looking bikes. All right. So, who was your favorite in the movie as far as the, the looks, the girl factor goes? Jeff. Patch. <laughs> Patch. Patch. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And I noticed there was no hesitation when you said Jeff on oh, that right really? there. It was like, right. <laughs> did you get an opportunity to get some pictures with Jeff today? We did. We sure have. Good. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks for coming down. Thanks for your comments. Um, you'll be able to see this video later on on uh, deadin5heartbeats.com cool. or sunnybarger.com. So any of those two there. Thank you for um, having us. Thank yeah. you. We'll see you uh, tomorrow too. Absolutely. Right. Okay, great. Thanks. My name is Chico. I am uh, play part of Ahab, the president of the Oakland Charter of the Infidels. I, I saw my life. You know, I saw I saw Sonny's life. I saw all of the brothers that were in the movie's life. This is what we do every day. And it shows the loyalty, the love, the brotherhood, the trust, the honor, pride, duty. I, I mean, I had to go to the bad guys to find these things in life. Pride, honor, duty, respect. Uh, we treat each other with these things. Whether we're common, you know, ordinary society, I mean, they do some atrocious things to their best friends. In our world, that's unacceptable. We can trust each other. We don't steal from each other. We live the life of... It's, it's a very hard lifestyle. It's rigid. One mistake and you're done. So you have anyone with, with years in this lifestyle, you're looking at a man of honor. Sonny. I mean... That's a man of honor. He has survived 50, 55 years, something like that, of, of a very rigid code of conduct. Something that our society is, is really blind to. They have no clue as to what we're really about. Uh, this movie will give them an, a glimpse into our life. Okay, Dan Johnson, Glendale, Arizona. Just got out of the movie. Death and Five Heartbeats. I thought it was a great movie, very factual. It just shows how the real world is and not what they want you to see on TV. And I would see it again and I would recommend it to anybody. Had a great time, well worth my money. Thank you. My name is Justin Jerob. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I live here currently. Um, Patch is one of my good buddies. Came to see the movie. Awesome movie. You guys did an awesome job. Um, when I left, uh, my buddy and I came to see it. And uh, when we left, <laughs> I ride myself right now. He does not ride. Uh, we went to the Harley dealership and uh, picked up uh, two uh, 1200 Sportsters, so it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good no, time. kidding? Yeah, you yeah. saw the movie and went out and bought two yep. motorcycles. That's right. That is awesome. So it, it was a good time for sure. Wow. Have, have you ever seen any other movies before about motorcycle clubs or anything like I that? I have. This one was more, um, it affected me more, obviously, because I know Patch. Uh, I know a couple of the guys, and they're, they're really good guys, and uh, it, was, it was a badass movie for sure. Great. Now, anybody who doesn't ride, how how do you think this? Why why should they come and see this movie? The camaraderie in the, in the movie and just the brotherhood is 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 uh, very beneficial for every walk of life. Even if you don't ride, if you do ride, if you want to ride, if you want to learn how to ride, um, it's a great movie to see and uh, definitely. Uh, will make you want to go out and get a bike. Yeah, evidently. You guys right. you guys spent some bank. Yeah, it, it was, it was, we got them outside, so I thought we'd so uh, come and support for this sure. This was an expensive movie for you. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, great movies are normally made of elements like uh, drama and comedy and, sure. and, and romance. And, you know, what elements did this movie have that you saw? Um, it definitely, I didn't think it was going to be funny at all. 
and uh, it definitely had some humor in it. Uh, I caught myself laughing a couple times, um, but I mean, it was it was an all-around good movie for sure. Absolutely. Cool. Most people are going to have to travel a great distance to see this movie, a couple hundred miles, maybe even as far as a thousand miles. Why should they travel that distance? I think they should travel that distance just because it, it, Jeff Santo put on a great, great, great movie. Uh, the production is awesome. Um, they have a lot of good guys in the movie to make it an awesome movie. Um, like I said before, it's just it's one of those movies that you need to see and uh, a badass film for sure. And I guess the fact that you guys went out and spent that much money after watching this movie says it all right there. <laughs> Absolutely. So go see it. It's sitting near you for sure. All right. Thanks, man. You that got was it. Awesome. Absolutely. Jeff Santo, director of Dead and Five Heartbeats. Do IndieWire.com does this per screen gross average, weekend average, where for an independent film, a per screen gross weekend average, a good one is $5,000. Our weekend, we're here Sunday. We're at 13,000. It's pretty amazing. Um, and we hope tomorrow, Monday, that we'll see that Dead in Five Heartbeats is up in the top 10 for independent films for per screen gross. We're on one screen, but we're 13,000, and that's pretty, pretty cool. And we did that by just word of mouth. Because, again, I look at independent film, you have to. I've been in this business for a long time. You gotta look at it as a business. And so you gotta watch Everything you spend, if you spend too much on marketing, you're not gonna make a profit. So you gotta find a way. And Facebook today lends that for, for films like this that have a niche audience to promote on Facebook. I mean, we basically got, we cast the whole film on Facebook. We had over 250 songs donated to us by independent bands on Facebook. Put 35 of them in the movie. Uh, Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam gave us a song for the movie. So we are going into 11 cities after this. The next one's gonna be Sacramento in May. So we have time to promote that. Then we go, we were packed in June, July, August. We're going to Chicago, we're going to Cleveland, we're going to Denver, we're going to Seattle, Minneapolis, Kansas City, New York, Alabama. And we're doing this all on our own. We're, it's like a rock band. And we're not, we're not going into cities for like, okay, we're playing for a week. We're playing sometimes for just one day. In venues that have, like, we're finding historical venues, uh, theaters that have seat 2100 or 1300, where we'll play one show and they serve beer or wine. So we're making an event where people can, you know, come together, ride their bikes out, you know, cross over state lines uh, and, and find this movie and be part of it and celebrate it. And that's what we want to do with this film. We're celebrating this film inside the culture and from there we hope to cross over into the public because to me this film is entertaining, it's deeper, smarter than a lot of, a lot of people think. And I think that uh, you're going to get a great experience coming out to one of the shows when we're on the road because you get to meet the actors, the real guys who are in the film, who made the film. So many people on our Facebook pages are saying, bring it to UK, Sweden, Australia, Germany, you know, and the foreign companies, the few that have talked to us, you know, have been also nervous to take on the film. So I believe throughout this course, we're gonna find good people coming to say, hey, I understand this movie, I could help you with this, I could help you with foreign, I could help, and that's gonna happen. We're taking it as far as we can take it. Thanks, Eric, appreciate it. All right. Thank you for coming out. Oh, yeah. yeah, you've been great, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is uh, PJ. I'm from the Freeway Knights Motorcycle Club in San Gabriel Valley. Uh, also from North Wales. And uh, I came out and I saw this movie. It, it, was, it was a fantastic movie of uh, brotherhood, true brotherhood. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Now, how real did this movie seem to you? Oh, it, did, it depicted the, the real thing. Yeah, it's something that you're born into. Um, did you get a feeling like, you know, like, like, you know, with fight scenes and everything else, that it was like you were very realistic? The, the fight scenes were, yeah, very, very real. Yeah. Now, I, it almost felt I was there. <laughs> fantastic. I had a tough time. I went in to actually uh, watch a little bit of the movie and I had a tough time trying to leave uh, to come back out and work. Um, was this on the edge of your seat for you? Well, I, I was busting to go to the restroom, but I didn't want to leave that movie. <laughs> That's perfect. So, so how, how long do you do you live both here in the United States? Uh, yes, now I do. Yes, but uh, I, I've been a biker for 
47 years and uh, Sonny Bargy was uh, a legend over in England and in Wales. Wow, so you started, at what, how old were you when you started over there? I was uh, 15 years of age. My first motorcycle was a, a 250 BSA. And then uh, seeing this movie as far as the way you grew up in motorcycles and what you've seen, um, how was it uh, related to that? Well, it, it was very real because when, when I first started the, the motorcycle scene, I started with the, it was the mods and the rockers. And we were the rockers, the, the boys in the leather jackets, and, uh, you know, a lot of fighting with the mods. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, to me, it was, it was real. I, I, I wanted to go to the restroom, but I didn't want to leave that movie theater at all. I thought, I'm going to wait till the end. <laughs> all right. I didn't want to miss anything. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to come in and, and do an interview with us. You're welcome. And, and do you think when the DVD comes out, you'll be owning the DVD? Yes, definitely. Fantastic. Can, can I get a picture of the back of my jacket, oh, maybe? Oh, ab absolutely. Hi, I'm Talon Vaughn. Um, I play Hollister Timmons in the movie. Uh, this movie really meant a lot to me because, uh, you know, these things are based on real events, but it's a, you know, it's a fictional story and everything. But um, I, I just thought it was such a great movie, and all the work we put in, it was an independent film. And, you know, it was just, it was such a great time working with everybody. Uh, you know, none of us knew each other when we first started, and we just all became such a great family at the end, and it was awesome. I've seen a lot of different motorcycle movies, but by far this one definitely tops at all of them. To see this movie playing near you, go, go to deadin5heartbeats.com. Uh, my name's uh, William Connor. I played the role of Jerry, uh, the biker bar owner. When Jeff Santo said, uh, cut, that's a wrap for you, uh, I, uh, Kind of, kind of felt down about that. I wanted to keep on going. It was I had such a good time doing this film. So, when you were in this movie and they were filming it, mm. did did you ever get a sense that you were in a in a real clubhouse in a real bar? And oh yeah, I, I had no doubt about it. Okay, I, I just remembered a funny story. You were asking me about a funny story a second ago. Um, uh, well, we were rehearsing the uh, fight scene. I don't want to give too much away, but there was a great fight scene in there about we're rehearsing this, and uh, all these guys were looking around, uh, you know, and they felt kind of clumsy about this, and they said, uh, hey, I got an idea, I want you to let us really fight, and uh, it'd become, you know, it'd be more natural for us, so uh, I found that uh, I found that kind of funny. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That must have been amazing. It, it, was, it, it was, it was, it was. It was an awesome, it was an awesome fight scene. <laughs> My name is Jules. I live here in Glendale, Arizona. And my name is Joanne. I came all the way from uh, Anson, Maine. I'm a new rider myself. Uh, it's been a little over a year. And I have a passion for the biker community. And I wanted to come and experience Bike Week here in Arizona. The produ I think this, uh, the quality of this film was excellent. Yeah. I forgot it was an independent. Yeah. I actually yeah. literally forgot it was an independent. Yeah. The, the quality was excellent and I think this film um, is, is reality. It's, it's reality and I think that's what makes this film very special. It's not like, I mean, yeah, okay, I like, this, I like the movie The Expendables to me, but that wasn't reality. This movie was reality. <laughs> What a pleasure and an honor. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure and an honor. I'm Jules. My name is Jules. Hey Jules, I see that. How are it's you? very nice to meet you. I'm Joanne, but everybody calls me Joe. Oh my god. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Parker or to Mr. Zito? I mean, you look like you're starting right I'm I'm honored. I mean, I'm just a small town girl from from the Hicks in Maine. I mean this is this is wonderful, you know, as as a new rider. I'm I'm ecstatic. Did you say writer or writer? <laughs> I'm a writer. Writer. I writer. yes. Writer. I'm no. a writer. She's a writer. <laughs> I'm a writer and a writer. Yeah. Well, I awesome I write writer. myself, but I write on the back. <laughs> some guys are lovers. Some guys are fighters. I happen to be both. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It was, of course, went to the opening last night of uh, Dead and Five Heartbeats. So it was great to uh, see Sonny and. Uh, Ride with him again after all these years. 
So tell me a little bit about uh, in Dead and Five Heartbeats. What was what were your feelings? Well, the, uh, basically, uh, uh, we'll go back. We'll take that back a little bit because uh, when I was sitting in that dark and movie theater watching Sonny Barger and Jack Nicholson and, and the Oakland Hells Angels, I was. Uh, um, I remember a scene that Sonny was leading the pack on a Bay Bridge with hundreds of Hell's Angels, and it was just stuck in my mind. And I remember back in 1982, we all rode to Sturgis, South Dakota. It was our first time there, and hundreds of Hell's Angels pulled in. And I was remember Sonny and Sandy was leading the pack, and it was like deja vu all over again, me being in that pack on a Bay Bridge. That's what it felt like. And Sonny was leading the pack, and it was a proud day in my life. I'm Ron, also known as Juju. Rode up from Mesa, Arizona to watch the very first ever showing of the film, Dead in Five Heartbeats. I have got one word for this film, fan-fucking-tastic. We sat there and watched it. I ride the streets a lot, my friends ride the street. And what was on that screen is off the street. It is a great put-together, a great way of telling the story, of the book, Dead in Five Heartbeats. If you don't see this film, you lose out. And that's all I can tell you. There's some great stuff in there. You won't believe what some of this stuff is on that screen. You will sit there for over an hour and 50 minutes and it will be gone in about 20 seconds. You're gonna love it. You have to greet them a certain way. They came over there with airplanes and helicopters. You have to say, Asalaam Alaikum. It means peace be with you. Peace be with you? We're buying fucking weapons. This is the life we chose. Do you all not agree? You're dead in five fucking heartbeats. Who's FBI? Ange, man. I hear you. Do you? Everybody's a tough guy, until you meet one. Okay, Sonny, so uh, you, you had an opportunity to actually see your, your movie um, premiere, and uh, the showing was amazing. I mean, you ranked number five in independent films in one weekend. Um, after writing this book and seeing it on the big screen, did it meet your expectations? It didn't well, well beyond my expectations. And the part I liked the best about it was everybody we talked to, even non-bike riders coming out of the theater, really understood the message I was trying to get across. And uh, yet I made me feel real good. Good. And what was your favorite part of the movie? Well, as I told you before, I was looking for the end.